Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm from Cluedo. And uh, in this video, we'll go into the dashboard and explore how to use it. Uh, so let's dive into it. So you can see in this dashboard, you have the general overview widget. In this widget, you have some general metrics about how your search is doing. Uh, the first one is uh, total searches. So it's giving you an, an idea about how many searches have been uh, performed uh, on your website. The next one is unique searches. And it's uh, the difference here between the two is that one is telling you about uh, how many searches there have been in general. And then unique searches is how many uh, specific type of searches for that particular word has been done. Um, so there's a difference between a user, for example, searching just once for a particular thing. And then let's say that they click on a result, but it wasn't really what they were looking for. And then they go back to the search result page. That's basically two total searches, but one unique search because they've searched for the, the, thing, the same thing twice. Then we have, for example, searches with results. So that gives you an idea that how many people have searched for something and ended up on zero results and uh, how many have actually gotten results. Then we have uh, the click-through rate number. So how many uh, people have actually clicked on search results when they have per performed a search. This number varies a lot between different industries. So there's no particular number that you should be looking for here, but it still gives you a, a good idea of how you're, you're performing. If we go a little bit further down, then we have a, a lot of different type of widgets like searches without results, ineffective searches, trending searches, and, and so forth. And all of these we'll dive into in a, in a separate video. Um, but in general, this is where you should look for how you're performing uh, among these different type of uh, categories. On top of that, what you should notice is that we have this uh, these filtering options up here. One of them is for the the period selected. So you can see that I'm right now on the last 30 days, but you can choose any number of uh, periods here, even a custom period if you want to see something very specific. Other than that, you have uh, the filtering option. If you click on that, then you have the option to add a specific type of um, filtering. So that could be, for example, a specific country you're looking for. Uh, so let's say that in this case, I'm looking for United Kingdom and maybe within UK, I have a specific type of city or a region that I want to filter by. And then you click apply filter and save filter. And now all the widgets will only show search terms for that specific area. And then of course you can deselect it again to see everything else again. One thing to note here about the dashboard that is particularly important is that you're looking at the dashboard for a particular engine. We'll dive into what engines are in a separate video, but just know that you can up here select the specific type of uh, engine that you are looking for. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.